What up everyone? Welcome to my home here in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, I get a chance to see what an old retired Dodger gets to do uh, during his day in life. So let's get in and get our day started. Time to get the kids off to school. The toughest part about being a, uh, you know, a, a dad playing and trying to still train and then one of the great parts about now being retired is you know, when you're playing, when you're chasing that dream, playing for that, you know, wherever you're trying to be, um, sometimes you get caught in a little bit of a tunnel vision and, you know, not able to enjoy some of the finer moments of, uh, you know, a morning breakfast, uh, uh, afternoon lunch, uh, you know, picking up uh, someone from school and that definitely got more enjoyable as my career went on. A good part about playing was like our mornings were always somewhat the same because when they played, besides spring training obviously, but when they played, we would have them in the morning. And that's, I think, a nice time of day to have people around, especially when our kids were a little bit younger and our mornings were a little bit less crazy. Mm -hmm. um, but it's certainly helpful. He is my, I don't know if he's mentioned it, but he's my like number one go-to drop-off guy. <laughs> he loves taking the kids to school and I love that he loves taking the kids to school because then I don't have to be as even ready as I am today um, for like, you know, the early morning stuff. So he kind of gets them, I get him out the door or help get him out the door. He drives to school and then I kind of have my time, which is really nice. We're chow time. This is what we do. So the, the brown one's Poncho and the grayish black one is Lefty. We were trying to figure out names and it was kind of tough. Um, our other bulldog was named Lil Wayne. So we were trying to think of like, you know, other cool names like that. And then their Merle Color. And I was like, oh, Merle Haggard. We were kind of searching on iTunes. Just Merle Haggard song. Like one of the first songs that come up was a Merle Haggard and Willie Nelson song called Poncho and Lefty. I was like, oh, that's meant to be. Poncho and Lefty's meant to be. So uh, we went with that. And I mean, that was like in 10 minutes of really looking. So I think if it comes to you that quick, um, and it was like, you know, the title of the song was Poncho and Lefty. I was like, we're like, yeah, that's meant to be. So we chose, you know, that <laughs> even two weeks before we got them. That was their names, and the lady we got them from would laugh every time we would text her and ask how Poncho and Lefty was going. Daddy. Yes. I want them to go. Wait, did you not put any, are you not gonna have any chips? I told you, we need to get chips. How about pretzels? Yep, I will turn on a song for you in the car. That's our big, that's our big fight every morning is who gets to turn a song on in the car. So we let, we usually let him, get the win. The best part is if you turn it down a little bit, he gets mad. It works every time. If you turn it down, he's like, mm, mm. This is one of those funny things, right? When you're a parent and like you finally get in the car on your own and you're like, dang, I'm gonna jam out. And then like your phone's in your pocket or the phone's like in your in a bag somewhere and like, you know, the first song that you were playing last comes on again, and it's like this, and then you find yourself just driving by yourself listening to this over and over because you're too lazy to either try to change it or you forget about it. 10 minutes in your drive and you're listening to Nickelodeon Castaway songs and stuff. And they're good, but yeah, it's one of those funny, one of those funny things that happens when you're a parent. All right, let's unload it. All right, see you guys, see you later. Even though I get to play during the day, I still have to do my duties and pick up the duty. Since I'm the only one home. If anyone else out there knows a way to get dog poop off fake grass, please let me know. All right, let's do this. Cart it up. My Dodger, Dodger cart. That's my midlife crisis car right there since uh, 
I'm in my midlife now, so I can say it's not my young and cool car, it's my midlife crisis car. Just going to uh, the range uh, today, hit a few. But yeah, that's the nice thing about having this golf course and facility so close is that I'm kind of working into the routine of days. Instead of taking my normal swings off the batting tee or the batting cage every day like I would normally in the off season, this is kind of like my off season thing now. We whipped this thing. Sorry, sorry for all you who are watching this if we're bumping hard in here. That was pretty good for a first swing, I'm not gonna lie. But that's as good as it gets. It's usually all downhill from here. Ah, baseball swing, still in there. Oh, what a jerk. Oh no. Right when I was feeling myself. That's what happens when you start digging yourself. Don't start digging yourself. Come down one time for me. Is that a regulation size pin? Can you just edit the one that goes in? Um, this is my, it's a, it was a three car garage and I turned it into a batting cage slash golf simulator area right here. And um, when designing it, I was like, how do you want to do like a batting cage? And then of course, why not model it after Dodger Stadium and a place that I called home for 12 years. So um, got a hold of John Suhu. He went from home, or actually no, Pitcher's Mound right behind, but between Pitcher's Mound and second base and took a photo for me um, and I wanted it to be like best perspective I could, like of hitting from home plate. And he took a photo for me, a bunch of series of photos, and I took it to a uh, wallpaper slash uh, vinyl um, company, and they printed this out, 3D printed out, uh, you know, a bunch of different things for me, but printed out this whole wall, and that's how it kind of started. So then I kept adding a bunch of other Dodger things uh, to it and it kind of grew from there and I had a bunch of other Dodger memorabilia over the years that we kind of turned into the one little Dodger area and, and a bunch of stuff that I had uh, you know over the course of my career. This is pretty cool right here. Yeah so these are all my uniform player security cards from my 12 years. This is kind of cool these are all my four stops I made with uh, Oakland before I got traded over to the Dodgers. So yeah, I have to add, add space in there for old 22 when five years after the day he retires, so, or maybe just when he retires, because we know it's a, it's a given, so it doesn't even matter. Like the day he retires, he's gonna be in the Hall of Fame. Uh, so yeah, now we're here in the afternoon and school's done. Got a few, maybe an hour here of homework in. And now we're off back down the street here to go uh, soccer practice. We've got five-year-old all-girls soccer team, uh, mostly comprised of the neighborhood girls that go to two or three of the schools in the area. And uh, we have a, a little all-girls soccer team and they have their practice once a week on Wednesdays and for their big tune-up for their soccer Saturday matches. And, uh, it's a fun time and it's something where you have two older boys and having a chance to have a girl now playing sports and doing that it's a it's a fun thing to be a part of and get to see her go out there and do her things but we have to make sure we're always doing it with some type of pink on so i love that part too Ooh. i know she sees her she has two older brothers that are you know quite a bit older than her that are you know pretty athletic guys and she sees them you know shooting baskets hitting off a tee doing all kinds of things and i can see her sometimes want to go do the same things as them and she wants to give up right away because you know her age trying to do the same you know things they're trying to do and she wants to give up right away so it's just hey stay with it you're capable of doing it and just kind of building her confidence up you know i think i understand some of those finer parts about competing and going out there and doing your best and and you know what they're trying to achieve and i think that's the biggest part is you know as long as they're enjoying themselves and 
enjoying what they're doing and giving it their full effort. At the end of the day, I'm just going to be happy and excited for you know, whatever the outcome is. All right, long day. I appreciate you guys uh, sticking with it and uh, hanging out with me all day. And uh, as you can see, uh, being a Dodger is great, but being a retired Dodger is just as great. So uh, look forward to seeing you around the ballpark and uh, see you around.